Okay, today's ceviche time, guys. I'm heading to the fish market to get this, the fresh seafood and with the family to actually eat at a nice seafood restaurant that is on the backyard of that seafood market. Okay guys, when, where we're going today is actually a um, um, seafood market. Um, they actually sell uh, fresh fish there and fresh seafood. Um, they catch it every day and they bring it to this place. And it also has a nice uh, seafood restaurant on their backyard. Very nice, uh, decorated it's like if it's like, making believe that you're like in the island or somewhere. Very Puppy. nice, this food there is excellent. Yes, Ian? French fries too. Yes, it's French fries too for you. I know you and like ketchup? French fries a lot and ketchup too. Yes, a lot. In order to get to this place, we gotta get to this Apache zone, which is actually um, uh, not a good area to uh, to be at night. But um, the place we're going is actually worth it to come through here because it's kind of more closer than any anywhere else. Okay, guys, we just got here to the place to. Uh, People marking and the, the restaurant is on the back. We're gonna go and see the see the first seafood first and then we go into the place. Okay guys, this is actually the, the of the seafood market right here. And this is actually the seafood market where they are. We rent the restaurant this way and it's very nice. We love it. We just got seated at this wonderful local seafood restaurant. The seafood here is so fresh and the flavor is so delicious because they cook the seafood that they get from the seafood market that is located in front of the restaurant. The ambient here is so relaxing that it makes you believe you are enjoying the Caribbean on one of those wonderful Caribbean islands. We enjoy a couple of dishes here. My son ordered a nice hamburger. My daughter ordered a club sandwich. Chicken stripped and fries for the little one. My wife ordered a sample platter. And I ordered a con ceviche. The first one got a spill on the table by accident, but they got me another one instantly. Then we got to the seafood market to get the fresh fish for my ceviche. Here they have a big variety of fish and shellfish, all fresh from local fishermen. Come in handy when you come to the fish market. It's actually a bag that states 
uh, cold inside. Usually bring it when I come to buy my fresh food. Add for a little bit of ice, put it inside. You know, get my tuna and my cordina for the ceviche. Put it in the back. Sear it, close it. You can leave it for as long as you want here. As long as the ice is still cold, you can leave it there. Later, we drove around the area which is close to the ocean. guys we just got home and um, we're gonna start with our ceviche uh, now um, we got a fresh cat from the fish market Corvina fish which is um, crooked fish in English uh, this fish is actually abundant here in uh, the state of Florida um, generally found um, up north uh, of Tampa Bay on the west coast and the flesh is actually white and uh, full of flavor it's we kind of like a, a sweet flavor at the end and the flesh is very thin and it holds our ceviche very well to make ceviche actually is very simple you only need five ingredients for the recipe which are of course fish lemon juice onions sea salt and pepper some other people actually add some of the vegetables and garnishes. In our case here, for our recipe, we will add cilantro, chili peppers, tomato, and we're gonna use avocado on the side as garnish. Start by um, squeezing the juice out of the lemon. Sometimes it is hard to get good lemons. The more round and soft they are on the outside, the more juice they have in the inside. And using a spoon, you can easily squeeze the lemon juice out of the lemon this way. See? Next, uh, grab your fish and cut it in cubes. First of all, you make strips like this. This way, along the way, the flesh. This way. So you can make cube about one inches are all around. Okay, once you have finished cutting your fish in cubes, just transfer it back to a bowl and add the lemon juice so you can start cooking the fish on the lemon juices. Like steaks. Also, um, ceviche has terms, cooking terms, such as medium rare, well, medium well, and well done. It all depends on the amount of time you let your ceviche rest on the lime juices. For example, for medium rare, you let the ceviche rest for 15 minutes. For medium, you let the ceviche for half an hour on the lemon juice resting. For medium well, 45 minutes, and for well done, you left your ceviche for one hour if you want it well done. If you let the ceviche for more than two hours on the lemon juice, it's just gonna turn into a pickleage fish instead of a ceviche. So, if you want your ceviche any way you like, just take the time, 
to let the ceviche marinating on the lemon juices. Add salt and pepper to your taste and then let it marinate in the fridge for the cooking time you want. Now that the fish is marinated inside the fridge, Start by chopping your additional garnish for your ceviche. All of these ingredients will elevate the ceviche flavor incredibly. I like to chop my veggies very small because it will look more appealing to the eye and it will be more easy to eat this way. As a nice crunch complement, I will throw some fresh homemade tortilla chips. Just cut the corn tortilla in four parts and deep fry them in hot corn oil for 30 seconds. Okay, to start serving, just add your fresh diced onions, a little bit of the red chili peppers, the diced tomatoes, and the cilantro. Mix it well until everything is well combined. Look how delicious that looks is to die for to serve the ceviche just get a clean bowl and carefully pour some of that delicious ceviche in the middle of the bowl. Add some avocado slices and the fresh homemade corn tortilla chips and dig in in all of that goodness. Let me just try this now. Uh, fish is actually on the medium well side. Very tender. Onion, fresh, give that crunch. The chili red pepper, given the heat and um, Cilantro, the freshness of the tropical here is unbelievable. 
try that with a little bit of avocado on the side like this. Put a little bit of ceviche on top of that tortilla chip. Crisp, fresh made. You will love this. If you wanted to see more of our recipes, just subscribe to our channel and enjoy. One, go. No, no. So delicious and flavor. The lemon juice comes out. The crunchiness of the onions. The little heat of the red pepper, red pepper, red pepper.